What's going on, guys? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great holiday season. Uh, I got in a shipment I want to share with you guys. It's a little bit of everything. Uh, starting with, I got some of these awesome spy baits from Daiwa, the Gusanado or Gusanado, however you want to say it. But I got the sinking and the fast sinking, guys. And I got several in. I'm thinking about offering a sinking and fast sinking together and probably maybe do a lot with the RC100, which is perfect for these baits and others like it. So keep an eye on these guys. I got several colors in. I got chartreuses. I got shiners and, and blues and you name it. I got in a lot of different colors. These are awesome. Uh, if there's a particular color you're looking for those, let me know. I probably have it. Moving along with the uh, finesse baits. I got in several of these Lucky Craft Bevy Shads, Pointers, and the Slender Minnows, or Flash Minnow, rather. Some people call them Slenders, but got in several of these guys. These will be up this weekend, hopefully. I love the Lucky Craft. They're, they are so awesome. A lot of their baits. Uh, moving over to Jackal, I got in some crawlers, guys, some topwaters. These old nasty bugs. And these are the juniors or the babies. And uh, they look, you know, they're they're loud, but these catch fish. These are, are great topwater walkers. And they're they're quite, uh, I'm not going to say they're weedless, but they come through the cover quite well with that uh, double treble on the back. I've got uh, uh, a couple of these. And if you didn't know, if you're not familiar with these, they have a blade on them. It sits on the belly. See if you can see that. There's a blade in there. It sits on the belly. So they've got a nice little crawling action. And they, and they throw off a little flash. So these are pretty awesome. I got a couple of those that's going up. I got some jackal crawlers. The RVs. A couple of these will be going up. Let's see. Hmm. Spinner baits. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these V3 midges. You probably are. But they are um, mega bass. Uh, they're like a finesse spinnerbait. And I've got one out of package. Let me just show you. What it is, is you get the spinnerbait. Uh, it's got the shad body on it. So you can fish this without the skirt. But it'll give you a, a skirt that you can put on. Um, nice little finesse spinnerbait, guys. These are awesome, actually. A lot of people don't talk about these. Because um, uh, they don't make them anymore, I'm pretty sure. But they are. These are straight up high pressure, clear water spinner baits right here. And I, I did get in a few of these. So those will be going up. Along with some Norries. I got in some uh, some crystals. Some double Colorados. And some double Willows. Uh, sticking with uh, sticking, sticking with spinner baits. I got in one of uh, these double swirls, guys. These sold out rather quickly. It's that blade configuration. You'd be hard pressed to find another spinner bait like these. As you can see, it's it's got a little short arm and that long arm there. These double swirls are killers, guys. They are absolute catchers. Evergreen. I don't know why they stopped making these. Seems like they always stop making the the good ones, and they'll bring them back in a in a while if there's enough demand, of course. Uh, got in some slitter K's, some uh, depths. These are members only slithers. It's just top water frogs, guys, but they are awesome. These are awesome frogs. I'm surprised a lot more people don't know about these or fish them. It's probably their price point is, is rather high, as, as with all depths. Uh, I'll have a good price on those guys. I've got in uh, several uh, chartreuse and uh, green pumpkin, some pinks and blacks, and other colors of some. Uh, I believe I got in some, I want to say bait fish colors too. So those will be up. I know it's not frog season, but you can never have too many frogs. Going back to uh, finesse baits. This has been a bait that I have used for a long time and I've only shared it a couple times. It's uh, from Valley Hill. It's a, the booster blade. And what this is is a spy bait, but it's unlike any other spy bait out there. This is one I took out of my box to show you guys. It's 
So what you got is you got the bait fish profile and instead of the of the usual it's got the small Colorado blade on the back end of it you want to talk about a killer these are awesome guys it's welded so you don't have to worry about the the wire getting compromised and you losing your blade they got different sizes than these like that when they got them two inch and three inch on up and I've got uh, my man's looking for several more of these these are awesome guys you'll love these uh, if you get these and you fish a lot of clear water high pressure even you know summer winter these will catch them I hope to do a video this spring showing those uh, or maybe this winter rather showing the showing them in action so you can see what they look like in the water got in some OSP jerk baits along with the uh, Lucky Crafts, uh, as well as some other uh, jerk baits. I got in um, some sort of silent killer, it's just the 175, yeah, 175 uh, in the rainbow trout. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'll do a lot with this in the depths tackle box. Everybody knows this, this is an awesome bait guys. It's just that rainbow trout's a little bit more difficult to find. And speaking of difficult to find, uh, I got in the uh, Swimbait Underground Depths Collaboration, the, the Butch Brown Golden Shiner. Uh, the box that came in got compromised. The bait's still brand new, so I just put it in one of these uh, boxes that usually holds a, a Depths Members 250. This would be going up if I can part with it this weekend sometime, I'm hoping. And I'll probably offer this with a depth box. That's, I have probably, I want to say half a dozen of them left. And once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, I got in a few 250s, uh, the Deadly Cater Bass. Uh, I'm still looking for some more Rainbow Trouts. And I got Cater Bass and uh, a few others in. I got some brand new ones and I got some used mint condition ones that'll be, that are, some are up now, some will be, uh, going up here in the next few days on the store uh, I did get in some rods guys I got in some evergreen rods some phase rods I uh, will probably put them put one or two up this weekend uh, I've got several on the site now uh, mega bass rods up there um, gamakatsu emakatsu I've got some more uh, BFS reels coming uh, rods uh, it's a uh, you know, a lot of us have been doing it for years, but it seems to be gaining a lot more traction and a lot more people are doing it. And this is the perfect time to implement it in your fishing. So I'll have some more of those uh, items coming that's uh, more finesse. More more than just finesse. I mean, BFS. So finesse fishing and BFS is really two different things. But you, you know what I'm saying. I've got the rods coming. I've got some already on there and I've got some line. Uh, I've got some... Even though I'm a Daiwa nut, I've got some Shimano out of bearings coming in, BFS reels, as well as a couple others. I do, I did put that lot up with the uh, the Scorpion BFS and the uh, two piece uh, X Pride BFS rod. So that's a that's an awesome little lot, guys. You might want to check it out. Other than that, just uh, a few odd and end things here, like these blade baits from Norries. These are actually pretty awesome. These are tungsten, and I'm pretty sure that Jacob or Jack, how you want to say it, but what makes these unique is the little blade on them. Now there are some companies that have them that come out the rear. This comes out from the center of the belly, so it's a little bit different, different look. I'm looking for more of these guys. You can't go wrong with Norries. They're, they're very high quality in their baits and rods. Other than that, just some uh, few other things that will be put up here this weekend. If you uh, have any questions, hit me up, DM me. Uh, you can DM me on Instagram if you're looking for something in particular. If you saw something here you want to purchase, just hit me up and we can work something out. Other than that, have a great weekend. God bless and tight lines, my friends.